Hi, this is Ken from the CC, here today to talk about a tech topic I've been asked about recently. Solid state hybrid drives. What exactly are these things? Some people are confused and I think this should be addressed. Because let's be honest, once you see this, you'll realize how much of a benefit this can provide to you. First of all, let's start with some basics. What are some common types of internal storage media? There are two I would like to cover. The first one is a hard disk drive. These are pretty common. They can store a lot of data, three, four plus terabytes. They're not that expensive. And overall, they are slower compared to a solid state drive. A solid state drive, sometimes referred to as flash storage, typically is lower in capacity compared to a hard disk. Overall, it is a lot more expensive. But the plus side is that they are extremely fast. Loading applications, opening documents, booting up your computer, the time it takes to perform those operations is very quick compared to loading all of that data off of a conventional hard disk. So flash is faster, yes, but what if you need more space? What if you have a slim wallet? Well, that is where this solution comes in. Solid state hybrid drives. How does this help exactly? Let's take a look. A hybrid drive, in essence, combines flash with a hard disk. It's both of those different types of storage all in one convenient package. Overall, it is more affordable compared to an SSD. Typically, it allows for more storage than an SSD. It's faster than a hard disk drive, but usually it's not as fast as a true solid state drive. Okay, so now we know all of this. Now, how exactly does it know what data goes on flash and what data goes on the disk? Well, let's take a look at some data. There are two types of data I would like to talk about. Frequently accessed data, sometimes referred to as hot data, and infrequently accessed data. Some examples of hot data are boot files, applications, and common documents. Things that the system and the user need to use frequently are stored on the flash, so they load faster. Infrequently accessed data, such as large movies, maybe some Photoshop documents, old files that you do not open as often, those are stored on the hard disk. The hard disk can store more data, but it is slower. And these files, since they're not as frequently accessed as hot data, they have a lower priority, so they get stored on the hard disk and not the flash. To sum that up, most commonly accessed data is stored on the flash for faster access. How exactly does this work? Well, there are two types of modes that a solid state hybrid drive typically would function in. The first one is called self-optimized mode. The device itself, it doesn't have to rely on drivers or any other software, knows which files to move to the flash and which to keep on the hard disk drive. It can tell what files are accessed more frequently and it will move them accordingly. The other mode is called host optimized mode. In this type of mode, the operating system, maybe the drivers, any other software, etc., those bits of software tell the drive where to move the files. Before, the device didn't have to rely on any type of software, but with host optimized mode, the SSHD relies on other software to know where to move data, whether that be on the flash or the hard disk drive. So to sum all of this up in a nutshell, solid state hybrid drives are almost as fast as solid state drives, but they have the capacity of a conventional hard disk drive. It's basically a budget friendly, best of both worlds version of an SSD. If you're having a slow computer, I recommend checking out a solid state hybrid drive. Put that in your machine, you will notice a huge difference. You could put an SSD in if you want, and then you will get the true performance of solid state, but that is typically more expensive. So a solid state hybrid drive gives you the best of both worlds at a much more affordable price. If you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, let us know down below. We hope you'll learn something, and we hope maybe you could take advantage of this. That would be great. We hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you later. Videos are just the beginning. Check out these other great websites for great content from the Computer Clan, and subscribe for more great videos from Real Deal Productions.